welcome to another video. So, apparently, Claude 3.8 is coming. Yes, I'm not kidding. In the last few days, people have been spotting a new model on Claude's API platform, specifically called Claude Neptune. Well, this made people think that this new model is apparently a new release by Anthropic. Maybe Claude 3.8 or Claude 4. But then, just a bit later, a report came from the information, which is actually, believe it or not, a really good source for this kind of stuff, because most of their information is generally very accurate. Anyway, they say that Anthropic is working on some upcoming models, which are Claude Sonnet and Claude Opus releases, due in the next few weeks. They say that Anthropic has new versions of Claude Sonnet and Claude Opus set to come out in the upcoming weeks. These models can go back and forth between reasoning and using external tools, applications, and databases to find answers, according to two people who have used them. If one of these models is using a tool to try and solve a problem but gets stuck, it can go back to reasoning mode to think about what's going wrong and self-correct, according to one of the people. For code generation, the models will automatically test the code they create, and if there's a mistake, they can stop to think about what might have gone wrong and correct it, according to people who have tested the model. This is pretty cool, because it is almost like an agent flow, I think, that can basically test the code it generates, or go over the response it has already generated, and check through it and stuff. I just hope that it doesn't cost $2 million in token cost to use this, which would be kind of bad. I mean, 2.5 Pro is really better than Sonnet, while being cheaper. So, if they don't get their costs under control, then it's going to be a big issue. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. They are also finally now talking about launching the Opus model. And I think that it will probably be upwards of $50 per million tokens based on what they charge. I mean, their pricing is really super awkward. And to be honest, just too high. So, they really need to bring that into check. Otherwise, it's not going to work for sure. They seem to be, from what I can understand, working on something similar to what OpenAI recently did with O3, where it can use tools in ChatGPT to achieve even better performance. Like, O3 and ChatGPT can easily use tools like the Python interpreter, image cropper, zooming tool, calculator, and much more and it can do these tool calls within the reasoning itself, which is super cool. It seems that this is what Claude might be able to do, or maybe they are making it so that it can start reasoning even in between while it is streaming an answer if it thinks that it did something wrong, which would be something new. But again, if it still costs $15 per million tokens, then I'll be really mad. But hey, if it still remains with the $100 subscription and Claude code, then I'd be slightly happy for sure. Anyway, Opus is also finally going to come as well. I don't know how much it's going to cost because, let's be honest, it's apparently going to be the same price, or even higher than the previous Opus, 
which is already extremely high. It just seems that Anthropic has started to not innovate and has become really bad at multiple things, which is pretty bad if you ask me. I would still like to see if they can make a good model, because their 3.7 model was pretty bad at reasoning. Like, you knew that it wasn't made for reasoning, and it's still costing that much, is just not as good. Like, it used to overthink, and it used to format its reasoning for some reason, which cost slightly more tokens when it used things like bullet points, big bold markdown formatting, and whatnot. I mean, that is not at all needed in something like reasoning, because generally, keeping it simple yields better results. So, there's that as well, and it overthinks in a ton of cases. Gemini 2.5 Pro was generally better than 3.7 Sonnet in multiple cases, and it seems that Anthropic is not pre-training any new models these days. Like, Opus was due for almost a year now, and Sonnet is basically just fine-tuned and post-trained versions of Sonnet. It seems that Claude 4 is not even in the works anymore, based on how slow their model releases have been. It just seems that they made Sonnet and sat down, and then Gemini caught up, and now they are still sitting and not even wanting to move. I would like to see how the new Sonnet and Opus hold up to the 2.5 Pro model, and it seems that Google is also going to launch some coding-focused models at the Google I.O. event. They are even going to come out with VO3 and Image Gen 4 and much more, which really has cemented their position as almost the leader in AI across the board. Like, they are the best in coding, best in video generation, and also really great at image generation which is really good. Anthropic, at its current stage, doesn't even have an Omni model that you can talk to or anything like that, which is really bad for a leading AI company these days. I mean, even Quen has an Omni model. I liked their Sonnet model, but after the Gemini model, it started to lose its essence. I mean, models like Gemini are cheaper and better. I liked the value that Claude's Pro Plan gives you for the $100 plan, but in the API pricing, it seems far-fetched a lot. I am really excited for Gemini and Google's I.O. event more than Sonnet, because I have been liking how Google is actually making AI models economical, rather than companies like OpenAI and Anthropic, which are basically making models super expensive and just making them super hard for a general student or anyone to work with. I think that this is because Google is not prioritizing profit here and their own custom processors and deep mind team, which basically made the transformer architecture, are really good at optimizing the models for cost. Because I think that this is one of the reasons that AI adoption is becoming harder, because it almost costs as much as buying a smartphone each month to use AI or rely heavily on it. Once it becomes cheaper, similar to what DeepSeek did, then it may become really good and easier to use for general developers. I liked this news and thought to talk about it. Let me know what you guys think about it as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.